and, and and as far as the real estate goes, we really do not have that this time. I mean, I do not. I, I see there are tiny little signs of imprudent lending, but there are very few and far between, right? Yes, that is not the problem now is just as usual. Prices are getting uh, overextended. They're higher and higher. I mean, San Francisco, where I used to live, is just crazy. I just showed in my newsletter that for a starter home buyer, now, now isolate them because that's a whole different set. Average price of a starter home in San Francisco is 895000 The income is 34500 That's 20 five times their earnings now you know, you know if there ever was an example of a banana republic it has got to be san francisco <laughs> I mean, and you got homeless and yeah. feces oh, it's terrible and people are having to move out i just met a guy in puerto rico that's moving down here software designer because he can't afford to live and he's a software designer right, right? He makes a yeah. grand year. he can't afford to live in sure. san francisco yeah, yeah. Yeah. And I, I, I would say, you know, on that, since we're talking about the San Francisco market, just for a little tangent here, I would say that that is very, very connected to the stock market and the VC market, of course, right? Uh, when that evaporates, boy, that is just going to, I mean, that is built on a house of cards, right? Yeah, 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 that's right. They're, they're the center for, or for the whole tech bubble. The tech stocks are leading this bubble just like they did the one in the 90s. And, 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 and people are moving into these headquarters. People in San Francisco hate Google, hate big tech companies because right. they see them is bidding up prices and driving out them out of their city. Same reason people in Vancouver hate Chinese because mm -hmm. they're the one driving prices. They're foreign buyers. So oh, right. this is not whatever, but th that is the key thing, Jason. This top is being started as we've been predicting. And it's also happening in, in Teflon, Sydney and Melbourne, Australia. Mm, right. At. The high end is cracking first, and it's because the prices are just so extreme and they get bid up the most by foreign buyers there. And the fact that upscale households are doing so much better than Homer Simpson. Mm -hmm. So it's breaking at the high end, and it's, this time it's going to filter down to the low end. Last time it was subprime mortgages uh, faltering, and then it built up to the high end. So the high end is where this is starting. And again, I was just talking with another newsletter writer. Uh, who just moved to Puerto Rico. He's trying to sell his Dallas place, prime downtown, upscale condo. Mm -hmm. He not get a good bid. He may just have to sell it for what he doesn't want to. Right. And a year or two ago, that would have been a cinch to sell that thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. No, the, the market has definitely... Manhattan, Miami, and San Francisco, it's Dallas. Uh-huh. Yeah, no, absolutely. No, I know. It's uh, the market has definitely cooled and it is continuing to cool. Um, one of our celebrity clients uh, just sent me a, uh, a, a Zillow listing the other night uh, about a $30 million home in Los Angeles. And uh, he, he says, this is just beyond ridiculous here. It is just beyond ridiculous. And I said, it's changing, though. Uh, they, you know, the, the, the buyers are rejecting those prices and homes are sitting on the market. And even in places, you know, south of L.A., like Orange County, my old hometown, um, you know, we're, we're seeing stuff that's, you know, seven, 800,000 softening. So oh. it, it, is this going to trickle down? See, I, I wonder if the bottom, uh, not the bottom, but the, just the lower end of the market, you know, uh, the stuff we like in Memphis, Indianapolis, these boring markets, Little Rock, uh, Atlanta, et cetera. I know it's trickling down, and I think that'll continue, but how far can it trickle down? Well, no, it, it will trickle down, but but it, I always say the greater the bubble, the greater the burst, and the greatest bubbles happen in the coastal cities. The greatest bubbles happen in the upscale markets, and, and it does trickle down, but but the lower-end markets will hold up better, and there are plenty of markets, Jason, as you already know. all The, the whole middle of the country is not really bubbly. I right. mean, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I have there's so many places where rent first of all rentals are more favored because a lot of people are struggling economically they're mm -hmm. in industrial places that are losing jobs mm -hmm. these places didn't bubble up so much so there are places where you can buy real estate affordably rent it out for positive cash flow and leverage that you just can't do that in the coastal you can't do that in South Beach Miami you can't do that in San Francisco or Seattle or Manhattan or Sydney and Melbourne or Singapore. So that's the key. Mm -hmm. The smart people are buying real estate in affordable areas 
where you can rent out. Like the key sign, if you can rent it out at positive cash flow, mm -hmm. as you're not that overvalued and you can make money there. Try to rent out a downtown uh, oh. condo in San Francisco. Yeah. Positive. Good luck. Yeah.